Hey everybody, Ryan FMG here. Before we talk about today's deck, please pet the little corgi in the bottom right of your screen. That's the sub button, and it's great to get some new subs with each and every video. So, enough about that. What are we talking about today? None other than Thunderboat. What is Thunderboat, you might ask? Well, it's use, using Amaterasu Thunder Edge, you know, give plus one attack and agility to a friendly unit, and trying to explore for the rising sun, the big bad boat itself. Now this deck kind of came about because last season, I really liked Thunder Edge Amaterasu with its K because crush plus agility is so good because it's hitting every five seconds and it doesn't get hit or it also has heavy pierce, so it's just dealing so much damage. But really I wanted to build a more, another agility crush dot deck and so I was looking at all the new set of BOA and to see what red and green units were introduced and which ones had crush. Unfortunately, not that many units had crush. Really, the only one that really stood out was this one. So it's like, you know what? Let's throw a playset of the boat in. So the units that we're doing is playset of old and new feline just to get some MP ramp L, so ascend fodder for its K. A playset of this because we want the rising sun. Heavy Pierce Crush Spillover. It's great, this unit cannot counter. Unfortunate, but hey, if it has agility, doesn't need a counter. Also, it does kind of go away after 45 seconds, but that's enough for four attack cycles. However, if you put agility, that's enough for eight attack cycles. We are also playing, you know, some legendaries here of Heavily Kicks Chun-Li, as well as Killer B Strike Kami. And we're kind of rounding everything up with a lot of ways to make sure our units stay around with wall jump and to pump up our units with a playset of True Faith, playset of Inborn Powers, and then just a one of, of course, of State of Nothingness, as well as Research Subject. And Styles Memory, because Pump Spell, Late Game, Early Game, Removal Spell, A Trans to try to get even more boats. Also, Bombast, right? Bombast is very, very good because we have a lot of great humans in the five drop slot, and to get tutor the, one of those up and put it in your EX pocket with Bombast is fantastic. Unfortunately, we are playing six felines, and when you get a feline, it's not the worst thing possible, but it definitely feels bad. So that's something to look out for, but that's enough about the deck. Let's see how many boats we can get, or just win with good old Itsuke. Round one against feline. We could keep this hand. Also, what's great about this is this could just be a sun fodder for Itsuke. Should not have put that in the middle lane since this has spillover. Maybe we just play that. Because it's kind of an interesting call of do you want to play the boat for minus one MP when this is on the board or just make sure that you can do its K? I think I want to make sure we could do its K. Because it's going to be so good this early on. Especially with having multiples. Oh, uh, we kind of punt it because this is just going to get bounced back to hand. Uh, I, w I really wanted to put its K down there, but oh well, is what it is at this time. Ooh, that's... I was feeling really good. But now, especially that this has spillover, that's going to be a big yikes. Well, it'll get killed as long as they can't shield it up or pump it. Whew, we're doing it, friends. I think we just drop Chun-Li because this is a 5-7. Yes, we could ascend over it, but we don't need to. Now we just have all threats. A 5-7 body with no text is still better than an empty slot by, by a country mile here. I think we go for lethal right here. Because what are they going to do? Probably nothing. Sure. Um... Let's just bombast. We could try to kill that, but if they have like Blade Shattery defense or any other thing that pumps up HP, it feels bad. So best case scenario, they could drop a little MP unit there, but not quick enough. Okay, starting off with win. Feels good. Round two up against the Despero Ichi. Uh, we could keep this hand. Okay, let's not put this in the middle unit or middle lane. Let's put it in the, you know, top or bottom. <laughs> Either one is better than the middle one.
So we could do this to save it, but I don't think I care. I think I'd rather Bombast. Hopefully you don't get a feline. When we took one out, we still have five in our deck. And we got one. It is what it is. That's fine. So I wonder if we just drop this here. And I kind of want to do this just in case if... Oh. That's rough. Uh, let's just drop it here. Hopefully, we kind of need to cheat on some MP here. Because now we could drop this and use the hero power. That's what was good about playing all these felines. And it is 5 MP, so it does dodge Fate of the Unworthy or something like that. We could just try to go a little bit more all in, but I don't think that that's worth. I think I'd rather just play another It's K. Or sorry, another Feline, and then hope to do It's K sooner rather than later. And this boat just seems like it's going to be victorious. Okay, well, this is lethal up here, and we got there. Aggro wins. Let's go, boat. Round three against Akuma, let's keep it. Let's just drop a little feline here. Now the big question is, do we want to drop another feline or just ascend over? Hmm. Well, I'm going to take one more little hit and now ascend over. I think that one point of damage is, ah, eh, no, I guess it was neutral because four was going to kill it anyways. Let's do this because this could actually eat the zombie and that's fantastic because the shield. Well, not anymore. Well, that's pretty good, because it's going to eat our Itsuke, help mitigate some damage on their part. I think I kind of want to send over. And I'm going to do this. If they have a removal spell, sure. But sometimes you really want to use this fast, because it does have agility, so it's not like you want to wait for the last second or something. You want to just get it as fast as possible. Now we'll just wait for this. We could drop this feline, but I think it's just better to wait till we get five. And obviously we're not waiting around to ambush anything. So let's go for lethal here. If they do have a removal spell, well then we still have a 410. And if they drop a little dude, well it has heavy pierce, so it'll we'll just chunk off. Obviously, when I said lethal, obviously with selfless predation, it wasn't lethal. Um, let's bombast here, because I would like to save this where it will get the memory too. It's great when your opponent is just having to use selfless predations to literally just stay alive. Uh, this should now just be lethal. Yep. We kind of ignored the bottom lane because it's like, well, we have two big, powerful, fast units up front. Fourth and final round up against a combo Ryu. We can keep this, right? We have felines and we took two felines out of our deck. So hopefully Bombast does not hit any of the last four. Ooh, this is great. Um, We could just save this. Do we care, actually? No, I'm going to say no, because that's actually MP that we're spending, and I think I would rather wait. We could use A-Trans, but I would rather wait to play this dude. Yeah, I think I would rather wait to play this A-Trans where we have a Itsuke and a boat rather than just like using this for fodder right now. We might lose this and that might feel really bad, but this is going to feel really good. And let's just do this now. 
I guess we could do it in response. Yeah, it would probably be better to do it in response. Mm, I'm gonna say that that's actually okay. Maybe I'm saving our wall jumps and shield effects too much. It'd be kind of a little bit too greedy. But like this at one is fine because now we just get to ascend over it, do this. Oh, they have their, their stuff online. I wonder if we just try to outpace them. I think we just try to outpace them. This is why we save our wall jumps. Oh, we lose. <laughs> Outpacing works? Potentially, but then they had a legendary that was like LOL to us. Well, we do gain nine life. This would not be lethal, by the way. And there's Crush. We win. Whoa, that was agility. Agility is a great keyword. Let's go. Overall, we just went 4-0, and oh, and that is pretty darn good. This deck is strong, right? It's aggressive, and aggressive decks right now are doing very well in the meta. And you are just playing with a ton of units that give you a lot of advantage. Have it be MP advantage or just great keyword advantage, right? Of heavy pierce and crush and, you know, tutoring up or, well, not really tutoring, making a heavy pierce crush and spillover units. And then, you know what's great with crush and all those keywords? Adding more keywords of agility and plus one attack. This deck seems very good. I liked Thunder Edge last season. I'm still liking it this season. I don't know how I feel about the boat and bombast because bombast every single time we did bombast and got a feline it did feel bad i'd be like this is fine but it's more this is not okay and i'm not sure if that's worth the deck building feels bad when that happens the synergy or lack thereof so i could see changing that around however I still like Boat. At Boat, you know, once you can get to Thunder Edge and then once you can give agility to Boat, it feels really good. So if you want to play with Boat, if you want to just crush, literally just crush face pretty fast, I think you can climb with this deck. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.